between God and a glass of water. This cup of water shivers as I catch its eye, then frees as it uses my own gaze to stare deeply back into my soul. Had the Spirit of God reflected as he hovered over that first deep, divided and gathered it together before my precious land could even appear? More significance trickles in, then floods my heart to a terrible airless wonder like the deluge my species barely survived on a raft covered in pitch and grace. Yet this puddle is captive in a glass, rippling at my jitters and biorhythms as I might dance to music or drown. Though waters bend the mortal portal of souls beyond number, for many it's also the spirit-hinged door to the death of Christ. The mighty Jordan's overflow cannot halt our God-provided crossing of its threshold, church built through the water and the blood, spiritual spare rib root of the new Eve springing from his side. The water sword is even the essence of his enemy's spit, which rains down upon my holy blood relatives. It's the essence of our sweat to serve him and the Red Sea rushing from our eyes, because they and we have ached in the slavery of a war-worshipping beast that attacks him with theicidal intensity. It's the essence of the drip-splash gush of God's regret and our lack in stiff-necked suffering from the waterless waste of exile or probation the only fluid being the way our sense-swallowed lives are swept from one side of true to the other. Thirsting soul cries silently through thirsty throat, my little body nearly three-quarters water itself and full of need. This cup is mine in Jesus' name, so I drink in deep gratitude.